Hey guys, Moan Pobera here and in this video we're going to talk about how do you get the fucking money. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Moan Pobera and this channel is all about how to buy existing businesses and how to grow existing businesses by acquisitions or even we're going to talk about some internal stuff in the future as well. But for now, the main focus is how to buy businesses and I'm here to show you that it's more fun and many times it will cost you the same amount of money to go and buy existing business versus starting one from scratch and that's what i'm going to show you i'm also going to talk about the fact that if you have existing business your best way to grow isn't by doing more sales and marketing or saving costs internally but it is to go and buy another business and do what we call a bolt-on acquisition a second acquisition with a, a similar business to yours or a complementary business to yours that's what the biggest companies out there are doing. Companies like Facebook, who is buying companies like WhatsApp or Instagram and companies like Amazon, who's buying companies like Whole Foods. And that's what you can do with your small business. So that's an overview if you're new to the channel, but let's get to today's topic. So today I'm going to talk about many people send me messages and tell me, first of all, thank you very much for the messages. Keep them going. I love them. Um, many people or just comment below with your thoughts. Um, so anyway people tell me hey moran i go out there i talk to business owners i get financials i start to do everything you're telling me to do um, i even try to make offers but how do i get the money to actually pay for those deals and that's what we're going to talk about today this is probably going to be one of few series of videos in this topic but we're going to talk on different things related to getting money and financing for your deals when you go in and talk to business owners so just as a general rule uh, with most acquisitions, the buyer will usually loan, uh, obviously depends on the deal, but let's say on average, you can say two thirds of the acquisition cost. Now, those loans can come in different ways. One of them, I guess, can just come from the seller, which is basically a seller financing. Basically, the seller will loan you a part of the acquisition costs. Um, and other ways are things like going to just different financial institutions or banks and getting commercial loans or things like SBA loans and stuff like that. So today we're going to talk about a little bit kind of like the senior loans, those that you go and talk to banks to get. Uh, those are loans that are basically going to be first in line to get paid in the deal. With those loans, there's usually a, a limit of around 30 to 50% of the total deal value that you can go out there and, and raise and loan basically. Now you can go and talk to local banks or regional banks. And as a general rule, what you need to expect is to go and talk to ideally as many financial institutions as possible. When you need to start to do that, ideally as soon as possible, but then remember that no one will really take you seriously until you have a deal and ideally a signed LOI, a letter of intent with a business owner. That's where they're really going to see that first of all, you're serious and there's someone to work with. Until then, it's just talks and, and no one really gives a shit. Um, if it's a financial institution or an investor, those are, are all just variable commitments basically until you have a signed LOI. That's where you're willing to go out there and really talk to as many people as you can, as many financial institutions as you can to do whatever you can to, to raise the capital to your deal. Now, one of the reasons that you want to talk to many financial institutions or banks is first of all, the idea that you'll see that when you talk to a specific bank, sometimes they had a bad experience with your specific sector and they just don't want to deal with those type of businesses anymore. And at the same time, you'll talk to a different financial institution who had a good experience in that sector and you'll see the conversation is much different with them and they'll be much more open to give you better deal many times and with better terms. I'd say another general rule you want to, I guess, write to yourself is when you talk to business owners, ideally figure out if there is some kind of lending relationship with the existing owner. So basically, if you're looking to buy a business, check out what's the relationship between him to his lenders. And ideally, that's the first place where you want to start because you can go out to them and tell them, hey, here's what I'm looking to do with this deal. I want to buy it, etc. Just talk about your plan. And when they already know the business, they already know what's going on there, they already know who's operating the day to day and how crucial it is to, to the operation. They already know the list of clients and how I guess sustainable the business is. And that's why it's probably going to be the easiest to get that loan from them. Again, if that business is, is really as good as you think it is, as you think it is. Now let's start and talk a little bit about an SBA loan and those are, this is very focused especially for those in the US and it's basically a small business administration loan. You can loan around 80% of the deal value 
with that loan. And it's really, really probably the best thing you can start by doing is to go out there and talk to as many banks as you can who are part of this, um, basically helping you provide and help provide to you an SBA loan to buy that business. But as an overall, I guess, rule of thumb or just whenever you talk to business owners, I want you to focus on these three questions. Obviously, you can ask many questions to, to look professional and interview them and all that. And I'm sure you can find many questions that you can ask uh, banks. And if you want, just comment below if you want more help on, on what to ask, how to present yourself and all that. But there are three, I guess, main questions that you want to focus on when you're going to talk to banks. So to begin with, you want to ask what is their preferred loan size? And the reason for that is you just want to make sure that your deal is attractive to them, to what they're looking to loan. So that's one thing to really, really focus on. Another one is just what their experience in that industry that you're looking at. And ideally, look for all the documents that they have from different businesses that they already, uh, I guess, work with. That will give you an idea of what needed, how things need to look like for them to get approvals on your loans. And obviously, you really need to know if who you're talking to, right? So make sure you know if you're talking to asset-based lenders or cash flow lenders, and you need to figure out that based on your deal. So whatever deal you have, you need to take the assumption on your deal and go to the right financial institution that is relevant to your deal. Now, asset-based lenders or asset-based loans are, I guess, the most common ones. Um, the beauty with them, and I'm going to talk about, I guess, getting into details a little bit, but you basically need to pay the interest and the principal over time. And obviously you negotiate the terms and all that with the financial institutions, but um, those are basically asset-based lenders. The thing with them is that if you can't cover the loan, for whatever reason the business, something happens to the business, they have a lien over the assets. So anything like uh, accounts receivables or inventory equipment, uh, real estate sometimes, obviously depends on the, on the deal and what assets you have there. With assets-based loans, the, the loan is usually um, more less inexpen less expensive than cash flow loans. Um, like just to give you an, an, an idea, you can get around 17 to 90 percent of accounts receivables. You can get around 40 to 50 percent of uh, equipment or inventory, and that really depends, obviously, on what the type of inventory that you have. Um, also, uh, based on my experience, that if you have you don't have a sufficient amount of inventory or equipment, they won't loan you uh, on the equipment unless you have enough, let's say, accounts receivables on the balance sheet. So they have, let's say, at least enough to borrow you on based on the accounts receivables. And then if you have a little inventory, they'll loan you on that at the same time. But if you only have just a little bit of equipment and inventory, you'll see that many financial institutions don't like to deal with it at all. I guess the only problem, or not problem, it's the only challenge you can have with asset-based lenders is if the business that you're looking to buy don't really have much assets. So again, things like receivables or inventory or real estate that you can loan against. In that case, uh, I guess what you want to do is look for cash flow lenders. And we're going to talk about that in the future videos. But for now, um, just make sure that if you're going to asset-based lenders, make sure that you have enough assets on the balance sheet that you can leverage in order to to get the loan that you want. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about, I guess, different, more different ways to get capital for your deals in the next videos. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today and, and I'll hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Mohan Pobera here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, 
If you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner, Carl Allen, and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer, even if you have no experience, and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sales because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business, but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sales. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program. If you never bought a business before, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another $1 million. So don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business. Let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners. And don't get me wrong, you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos. Some of the info I have here, I literally paid multiple six figures to learn. But the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in the space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moranpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel like subscribe comment help me grow the channel help me buy more businesses so i can help you buy yours as well hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you soon